San Francisco, same town, KSFO. Go. Hey, Mark, how's it going? All right. Hey, hey in uh, 1981, Mark, I was 15 years old, working as a busboy dishwasher, making thir- 335 an hour minimum wage. And how old were you? And the, they also provided... Uh, no, 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 how old were you? I, I didn't I hear you. 15, 15 years 15. old. 15, all right, got it. And they also uh, provided some form of health care. I don't believe in Obamacare, but I'm just throwing that out there as a dollar, as a cost of the uh, company, basically. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So about so so to that company, you were worth three bucks, three fifty, and health care. Five an hour, yes. Okay, what did you do? I was a busboy dishwasher. Think you were worth nine and, bucks? And, and I was. Uh, hold on, hold on. We're going to play along with each other. Think you were worth nine bucks an hour? I think I, was, I think I was worth minimum wage at that time. I was worth more than any adult probably there. I was just as educated. And no, you don't. It doesn't matter. They decide, the employer, if you're worth more than any adult. You're 15 years old, and you don't have many skills, right? But, but Well, no, but I was trained. Earlier you said that kids shouldn't make as much as what I heard you about. Uh, no, no, ago. okay, okay. You heard what you wanted to hear. What I said is this. That was your first job, right, Paul? My, fr- uh, my first uh, tax Okay. Pay. First tax-paying job, were you glad you had it? Was I going to what? Were you glad you had this job? Was I going to have it? What do you mean, have it? Were you glad? G-L-A-D. This is the uh, yes, basic really English. Yes. Okay, really did you I learn anything from the job? I learned a lot. Learned about work ethic, work ethic et cetera, et cetera. Yes, how to get along. You learned the work ethic, et cetera, et cetera, how to get along with people, how to show up on time, right? Yep, yep. You think that's important? It's very important. Okay, so if you drag up the minimum wage to 15 bucks, case after case, what happens is young people are not hired. In fact, most, many of them, not most of them, many of them are fired. Well, in, You think in, that's a yeah, good thing? Well, no, but you said you had certain data that supported that we lose jobs and whatnot, you know. So we have, we have to, what? We have certain... You, you said I, you have data that would support that if you raise the minimum, minimum wage to $15 an hour, you start losing jobs. So I'm wondering, do you have data that says if you might attract a better class of worker and, and develop more Well, if an employer wants to attract a better class of worker, then the employer will raise his uh, payments. More productive, though. Listen, Listen to me. Point. You're not listening to me, Paul. It's getting annoying. If I'm an employer, I don't need some bureaucrat in City Hall or in some state capitol or in Washington, D.C., who is politicizing this issue. I don't need them to tell me what to pay to attract a worker or an individual who I want to improve the situation, to have somebody who's more educated or more experienced or what have you. I know how to do that. The minimum wage isn't for that. The minimum wage is to give a wage to people who are at the lowest rung of the ladder, mostly young people, and the purpose is not really even to help those people, as I explained. It's a trigger mechanism for many of these contracts in unions, and including public sector unions, not all, but many so that they can get an increase. We're talking about a very small percentage of the workforce, 1.5 million out of 60 million people who have hourly wages, and over half of them are under 25. Did you hear anything I said? Yeah, did you hear anything I said? Yes, I did. But you, So you don't think there's any reason because they care about the people? Did you have data for the CEOs in 1981? To, to I don't care about the CEOs in 1981. I care about the 15-year-old in Baltimore, Maryland who's not going to be a CEO because he's 15 years old, who needs a job. Don't hand me this Marxist claptrap class warfare. It's not about the CEO. It's about these kids who can't get a job because they're priced out of the market, and they're priced out of the market because the big leftists and big labor prices them out of the market. Did you hear anything I said? Ah, get out of here. I don't want to hear it. Give me a headache. You don't hear a damn thing I said, and you're not listening. These are the facts. It's not theory. It's a fact. 